Uh, dear organizers and dear colleagues, hello everyone. I will present you today the disease burden of edentalism uh, calculated in Dental Clinic of Vojvodina in Serbia for the period of 2008 to 2019. Edentalism is a state of a complete tooth loss uh, which is uh, not only uh, specified uh, with uh, tooth loss, but it can be uh, related to many systemic health conditions. And um, it can be also associated with depression or with lower, uh, lower self-estimation. And um, this is the really important state because it can be considered as a final marker of uh, disease burden for oral health in general. Uh, we use the, the data from the clinical prosthetic department from the dental clinic of Vojvodina uh, where we use the prevalence from uh, 2008 to 2019 and um, we took diagnosed cases rehabilitated by complete dentures as an indicator of edentate people. Uh, the total sample of uh, 70,956 uh, 70, patients uh, uh, was used, uh, including uh, 1,620 uh, patients restored with complete dentures. There were 42% uh, 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 male and 57% of female, where the mean age was 64. Uh, we used the data for the disability weight for severe tooth loss, uh, which was taken uh, from the uh, disability weight for, for the, uh, the Global Burden of Disease 2013 study, where the disability weight is uh, 0 0.064. Uh, we calculated DELIS, Disability Adjusted Life Years, which are usually calculated uh, as years um, lived with disability plus years of life lost. But here uh, we, um, we considered that there was no person who died uh, directly uh, from the um, severe tooth loss and uh, that um, uh, it can be that the DELIS uh, could be calculated um, uh, only, uh, only on the base of uh, YLD, on the, other, on the base of YLD, so that is uh, so-called prevalence-based DELIS. Uh, for the observed period, uh, the total disease burden expressed per uh, thousand was uh, 1.42 delis, 0.64 for men and 0.75 uh, for women. Uh, delis uh, fluctuated during the observed period, but it um, increases lately and uh, for both sexes. It can be um, it can be uh, due to the population aging, but I what is the most important here is that there is the uh, insufficient support from the public health insurances for oral health uh, preventions, uh, prevention strategies and uh, for the uh, oral uh, treatments. And that is the direct consequence. When we um, calculated the age stratified there is expressed uh, per thousand. Uh, it is uh, clear that uh, there is uh, in for the ident edentalism increases uh, with age. Uh, but the most important group uh, here, I think, is this one, uh, uh, the group from 65 to 74, uh, because it is still a large group relatively, uh, but uh, there is the prevalence which is uh, really high. And uh, considering, uh, considering the calculated disease burden, edentalism has been posing an increasing challenge for the health system in Serbia over the past decade. And uh, the quantified burden could contribute to the improvement of evidence-informed policy making in public oral health in Serbia, which we really hope uh, that will happen. And uh, I would like to express our gratitude uh, to the Burden EU Cost Action for supporting us 
And I would like to thank uh, European Public uh, Health Association and European uh, Public Health Conference Foundation uh, for giving me registration fee waiver and to, for giving me the opportunity uh, to participate. Uh, I, I would like to thank organizers for all uh, their efforts to organize this, confer this conference uh, despite all the difficulties and I wish you all to stay safe and that uh, we will see each other next time uh, in person. Thank you very much. Bye.